right up here is where we were gonna go fishing. And there's a uh, squad or something there, so that is not good. This is where we can flip, bro. At any moment, we can flip. It's a mess in here because of everything's in here because of the winter. Well guys, uh, I guess this is a vlog series. So we bought one kayak. We got a sale of a deal. We paid 50 bucks for a marketplace. And tomorrow we're gonna go pick up a tandem two person, a tandem fishing kayak tomorrow. So we, we have to test it out. So we're gonna put it on top of the van and try to haul it that way. And this is essentially, Testing that to see how good it'll work. So we're gonna hit the road fairly early, early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is Saturday and let's just start figuring this thing out. Also, shout out my toolbox. I just got back my ratchet that broke. Hashtag uh, blue point. It's not bad, but shout out Austin Kylie for fixing it. It's empty, I know. I, uh, I need to get more toodles, but. For those of you that don't know, I am a mechanic. Here are all my toys in the, in the garage. Um, I wanna race with the yellow one this year. So, just a little background on me. I was working today. Without further ado, let's get back to the axe. So we just got this thing registered actually yesterday, so that's why we're kind of fired up about kayaks. We've never had any kayaks before. We bought this kayak uh, probably about a month ago, maybe two months ago. Conrad and I went down the ditch here behind our house, but we've never been to a river or lake or anything with it yet. So we're super excited to get out there this spring and put these kayaks to the test on lakes, rivers, ponds, all kinds of stuff. I'm planning to be putting out a lot of fishing style content, and if you guys enjoy this fishing stuff, let me know down in the comment section. And just while I was talking here, Cody already got the kayak up on top of the van. Yeah. Come in hot, actually. Look. Here, here. That's a good idea, run it from here, run it through here, and then strap it on up there. That's a really good idea. Yeah, this should be perfect. Okay. If we throw on a little metal. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's going like nowhere. Like it'll rock the whole thing. That's not. Yeah, if we put one in the middle yet, that's solid. It, it's, there's no reason. And that other one even has a different method of strapping too, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we will figure something out. Also, if any of you want a uh, 2015 Bear Cruiser fully loaded, shot by me, I have shot a few deer with it, I will sell it. Um, there will be a link down in the description uh, for eBay, that's where I'll be selling it. If you all are interested, I'm selling it fully loaded. Five arrows, uh, sight, rest, stabilizer, everything's going with it. Yeah, it'd be awesome if one of you guys could buy it and uh, enter at your own risk on it. <laughs> the restrictions apply. No, I'm kidding. All right, catch you in the morning.
So it's the next day now and we are on the way to Michigan. It was like a three and a half hour drive. We're actually most of the way up there now. We're going to pick up a tandem kayak. It's a brand that I've never even heard of before, but um, looked at some reviews and they seem to be pretty good. So I'm excited to test it out and see how it works. It's actually a fishing kayak. I think it's got four or five fishing rod holders, which will be super nice. And it seems like one that if we're careful, it shouldn't be tipping, but we'll see. So right now we're nine minutes away from the destination. We're gonna go up to the guy's house loaded up on top of this van and hopefully it's fine going 75 miles an hour home and doesn't cause too much stress on the ratchet straps and tear it or anything like that. So go up there, get her loaded and uh, drive home. You guys drove a long way. Yeah, it did. <laughs> the boys thought it'd be well worth it. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Are you planning to put it on the top? Yeah, okay. we tested it out last night and it should work. Uh, this isn't actually that much heavier than our other one. I'd say let's just flip it over the top. Want me to help you? Yeah. Sure, if you can. Yeah, yeah let's. <laughs> That's good. Can you send it back under how we did last night? Well, here she is, the uh, the new kayak. It is a Van Hunks uh, Voyager 12. Haven't ever heard that brand before, but I mean, it's it's an awesome kayak. One thing what's really cool is you can take off these seats if you really want to. Pull these off. You can put these in. Uh, these tend to be more stable for like uh, water that's more rough and these are for conroe waters and this you're up higher these seats are easier to tip but more comfortable for fishing and then you got a place where you can mount a rod holder and then you got this thing right here uh, a um, dry bat I I'm not exactly sure on the name but keep that stuff dry you got a water holder the uh, cup holder there you got eight scupper plugs on this whole thing which is nice. I mean, you can pull them out and put them in if needed. Pretty much the same thing up front here, um, except there is a cool feature. This little thing unscrews, and this is actually a drain for the bottom of the kayak. Got uh, bungee cords and storage in the front and in the back. We're gonna be using this thing a ton. I cannot wait to go out and start fishing with this thing. It's gonna be an absolute party. Hopefully this next week we can get this thing registered and then, uh, yeah, then it's pretty much hammered down. Here, spin it over. So today's the day we finally get to take the kayak out on the water. It's February 23rd right now, and somehow it's 70 degrees, and we're in Ohio. That just does not make sense to me. So we got the tandem kayak, and we just got it loaded up on top of the van here. And uh, Cody and I are gonna be going out today and testing it out on a river. And I also wanna take some fishing stuff with. So the plan for today is basically to test it out, just see how it is, and then um, also do a little bit of fishing. I think it's gonna be kind of tough to catch anything because the water temperature is still pretty cold, but we're definitely gonna try it out today and uh, see what happens. Here we go. So right up here is where we were gonna go fishing and there's a uh, squad or something there. So that is not good. Oh, oh, they're pulling out a kayak or something. turn around real quick I'm gonna go talk to these people see if we can actually still fish here yeah I don't know Let's see what happened uh, what's up guys not much you want uh, to drive? are we good to, to kayak down there yeah, you're way good okay yeah, we're, we're just training Do you uh, like okay. this? Huh? yeah we got yeah. them in the back right. then you're good yeah. boat license we have no beer 
Yeah, yeah we just got it. We just got it registered like yesterday. Good deal. I'm kidding. So. With you. <laughs> you have fun, guys. Yep, yeah, thanks. They were laughing, dude. Because I thought they all looked fairly happy. Yeah. All right, so I just talked to those guys real quick, and they said that we're good to f that we're good to fish. Um, that they were just out training, so we're good to go. Uh, we're gonna get all our stuff and then get the kayak off here now and take it down to the creek. Here we go. Lift up. Got the kayak unloaded, got every, the oars and everything put on. Now we're ready to go into the water, launch it. We're gonna have our first float with this kayak. Don't let that paddle get away. <laughs> Being hard on the kayak. Yo, sweet. Should I get in the back or front? Are you getting in? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're making us tippy. It's not good. You in? Pretty much. Okay, that'll keep my my feet free. My slides got muddy. Yay, parent rules. This thing is legit, bro. Let's go down. Okay. All right, so we're on the water now and I'm wearing this nasty orange life jacket, but we have to wear a life jacket, at least for the first time that we're out here. We're in the kayak now, and this is seriously so comfortable, so relaxing, we're just cruising downstream. So the GoPro had a dead battery and I just couldn't find the right cord to charge it and found the, the right cord to charge just a little bit before we got here so it has really low battery so I can only take a few videos on it but I got a GoPro Hero 7 coming tomorrow actually and so when we do a lot more of these kayaking and fishing videos video quality is going to be a lot better and actually Cody and I can both have oh no oh no that's the nice thing about having a shallow canoe we just got through a spot that is probably eight to ten inches thick and we scraped a little bit on the bottom but we went right through so the fishing and kayaking videos are gonna be a lot better with that other camera coming in and uh we'll just have a couple more angles so we're on the river right now and uh so far i'm really liking this thing we're cruising down the river and uh gonna get the fishing here before too long so if you've been following the channel for any amount of time you might have noticed that I am a terrible fisherman. Like honestly, occasionally I'll catch fish, but the biggest thing is like, I just don't know what bait to throw when. And I also am not good at setting the hook right away. So I really want to try to get better at that this year. So you might laugh at whatever I want to put on now, but it's early spring and the, for the creek that we're at, I'm thinking maybe some kind of spinner bait. Okay, at this point, I'm basically trolling because how fast we're going. Yeah, well, stop. Just let's just coast. Basically, just keep us going downstream. This river here that we're fishing is actually fairly shallow, um, or creek technically. A lot of this creek is just yeah, just a couple feet deep. Uh, there might be a few pockets that are a lot deeper, but for the most part, this creek is fairly shallow. I don't even. No, or I don't even think there's any large mouth in here. I think it's smallmouth and like catfish and carp and stuff. But this is probably the river that we'll be coming to a lot this summer. We're approaching a thin part of the creek and shallow part. All right, this is the exciting part of the creek. This is where we can flip, bro. At any moment, we can flip. Oh shoot, we got a we got a down down log up here. We're gonna have to. You want to just drag it out across here? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Water's pretty cold. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, hop out now. Got it? Yep. Let's, let's yeah, let's, let's go over here.
Yeah, this water's still cold. Woo! We good here? <laughs> yes, officially now. I'm afraid that some of these like curl things here are gonna be rocks at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like these little like those bubble things there. I'm afraid those are gonna be rocks at some point that just flip us or something. We're good. Well, we're heading back and we're fighting currents because we're going upstream. It's hard work. I am absolutely drenched right now. Um, and it's like 70 something in February. The water's still cold. But yeah, this is, it's been going pretty good so far. No. Nah. Mm, so good. Okay, you're good, just get off. Step on that rock. <laughs> Dude, you better hurry. So we just got back here to the van and got everything loaded up. Successful first ride on the kayak. Successful first ride on the kayak. We didn't flip, but we did get a lot of water in, in the boat, just from paddles dipping in and out and Cody soaking my back one time uh, when we were trying to get through some rapids. So, but I can't wait to get that GoPro and be able to film this type of stuff a lot better. Voyage number one on this kayak is complete and it worked out pretty good. So I might just throw this in here yet, even though the title says I bought this kayak, I actually didn't buy this kayak personally. This is kind of a family kayak. It's not just my kayak, but I figured the title would be a little bit better if I put down, I bought this kayak. So as you know now, we do have two kayaks and I wanna do a full in-depth comparison between the cheap versus more expensive one and do a full end of the video on that. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys want us to do with these kayaks. Um, if we should do a lot of fishing or if we should do more like adventurous kayaking when the river's high and stuff like that. Um, so drop that down in the comments what you guys want to see us do with these kayaks. So that's going to be a wrap on this video here. Cody is just finishing spraying off the kayak and it's, and it's starting to get really windy out here. We're planning to use this kayak all throughout the summer to go fishing and do some really cool stuff with that. And so this is episode one of this kayak series. So basically in this episode, we just bought the kayak and took it on our first spin. So I'm super excited for the future with this kayak. I assume you already know, I really wanna hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I wanna do my part, I'm gonna put out the content and if you do your part and subscribe and like the videos, help promote it more, that would really help out a lot in being able to reach that goal. So that's all for episode one and see you on the next one.